Hey guys and welcome back to this last moment. I hope everyone is doing groovily. Today I am talking you through my Lush stash. So all of the products that I currently have from Lush, some of them are long time favourites, some of them are quite new to me, um, but I think they should all be vegan. I will double check when I come to write the description. Um, but I have aimed to make sure that everything is vegan. I think there's some things that have been gifted to me that I actually haven't checked in person just yet. Um, but yeah, they're a great brand all round. If you're into going vegan, um, if you're into zero waste, um, or just low waste beauty, then Lush are a fabulous brand. And yeah, I will stop rambling and let's get to it. The first product is my, probably my longest standing favourite. This is their 9 to 5 cleanser and this is a vegan cream cleanser that you apply to dry skin, it, you can rub it in, it takes off all your makeup and then I use a wash, a wash, a hot <laughs> muslin cloth to wash everything off with afterwards. Um, this is really lovely, it smells quite kind of inoffensive and it doesn't break me out which is really good. Um, I for reference have combination skin and I'm quite acne prone um, if things are too rich so anything with stuff like coconut oil in is just a complete no go for me. Um, so yeah, so this is really effective, this is the biggest bottle that they do, part of me wishes that they did do a bigger size. Um, but it's just really effective. I decant it into smaller bottles when I'm out travelling. Um, and yeah, I just have only good things to say. If you are a similar skin type to me, so something like something like oily, um, even if you are dry actually, I think this could be quite nice because it's a milk. Um, it's kind of a, a richer cleaning process than say something like foams. Um, but yeah, it's almond oil based and really, really lovely. The product that I use in conjunction with 9 to 5 is this Celestial Moisturiser. This is a really lovely light moisturiser that does a good job on de rehydrating kind of drier and um, dehydrated skin. Um, I really, really like this product. This might even be my favourite from the entire stash because um, it's just perfect for having the right amount of moisture without again breaking me out which is a big problem that I struggle with. Um, it is nicely scented, it's, I don't even know what it's got in it, so it's got fresh orchid extract, um, again it's got almond oil in it which I didn't even know that, I thought almond oil broke me out, I've tried using it on its own and that did not work for me, um, but this guy for whatever reason works really well, um, it's just a little, let's see if I can show you, it's just a white cream so no colourings or anything, yeah, smells just quite light and gentle and it's really really nice on skin if you are like me and combination. The next thing I have to show you is something that I have been using but probably won't buy again, um, I experimented with Lush's dirty tooth tabs which are little kind of like pill like pellets that you bite and crumble up in your mouth, <laughs> sounds really gross, um, but then they foam up and you use them as toothpaste. Um, I was using this in the morning, um, I don't quite trust it enough to be my nighttime brush. It hasn't got fluoride in it so if that's something that you're trying to avoid then obviously this is great. Um, but yeah, it's very expensive and just a completely unsustainable thing for me. Um, so yeah, so while it is quite effective, um, it leaves you kind of minty, I am quite sceptical when it comes to this sort of thing and probably won't be picking this up again. And then moving on to shower products, so I will spare you a close up of this, but this is my, I can't remember what it's called so I'm going to have to look it up and put the link in, but this is one of their shampoo bars, um, they are each good for I think 100 washes I think it says somewhere. Um, and they are really really effective. I've used their bars on and off for a good few years and um, I think personally they're the best kind of zero waste product that they have. I tried their solid conditioners, so bad, <laughs> so so bad. Um, left my curly hair really dry and really unhappy. 
um, but it has I've always done really well with their I'm gonna put this down because it's got hair on it um, but I have always really done well with their shampoo bars um, and also they used to do blocks of shampoo as well which were really great but I don't think they do the one that I used to use anymore unfortunately um, but yeah they're really really good low waste um, you can take your tin in so you don't get any packaging um, and yeah, I give them a thumbs up. It's just a shame that I don't know the, the name of the one that I'm using at the moment. Then, in combination with that shampoo, I have been using Veganese uh, conditioner. This is the huge 500 gram bottle, um, which I love. I wish that 9 to 5 came in a bottle this big. Um, but this is quite a citrusy and really effective conditioner. To me it feels exactly like a normal conditioner so that noticeable kind of soft feeling you get in the shower when you've just put conditioner on your hair is exactly the same even though that this is obviously a bit more natural and plant based than um, you know traditional offerings. Um, it's vegan hence the name and it's just really really good. Um, I got a small 100 gram bottle and loved it so much that I have gone out and purchased this one very recently. Um, as it says on the bottle, it's not just for vegans, um, it's genuinely a really good conditioner kind of in its own right and I prefer it to their American Cream conditioner which I had been using. I found that just a little bit kind of like almost sticky in a way, um, just a bit too rich. But it says that it's got lemon which you can definitely smell, it's got seaweed extract um, and herbal infusions. So all good stuff and um, yeah, really really recommend. Oh, I forgot to put this in before the other two as that would be the order that you use them in. This is the Marilyn hair treatment which annoyingly you can only find online so I don't particularly like ordering from them online because they now send things in a cardboard box but with um, packing peanuts, the kind of polystyrene plastic ones um, which I really really hate um, so that's a bit annoying. But this is really good, I kind of eke it out as much as I can, but you take a good old glob of it, apply it to the hair, it's designed for blondes, and you leave it for about 10-15 minutes, um, and it just makes your hair really noticeably softer, um, I really really like it. Um, yeah, my only wish, like I say, is that they sold it in store, because that would be amazing. This was a present that I got at Christmas, this is their Twilight Shower Gel. Um, I haven't really used their shower gels because I try and use um, soap bars as much as possible. Um, but this is a really lovely, beautifully scented shower gel that I also have a couple of things in the same kind of line from. Um, and it's just really nice. Um, purple and relaxing. I used it in the bath the other night and it was fab. Um, I used it as sort of like my shaving gel. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be buying it again just because I'm not actually a nighttime showerer. But definitely enjoying using it up for now. It's really lovely and yeah, that's all I have to say. Now, this is the Twilight Body Spray. This I was so excited to receive from my twin and his girlfriend for Christmas because I had heard really good things about it. It is lavender and tonka bean based. It smells the same as the shower gel. And this... Is technically for the body but I spray it on my pillow and on my duvet by like my head um, and it's just a really nice relaxing smell and really helps me to get sleep a little bit easier um, yeah I don't think I'll be spraying it on my body anytime soon because I have the body lotion for that job um, but it yeah I really recommend definitely think if you're someone that struggles with getting sleep this might be worth sticking into just to kind of get, you know, all the sleep hygiene going. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend. And I believe, nope, this is not the last product. I have one more thing to show you. Um, but this is Sleepy, which I am pretty sure smells exactly the same. I'm just going to check. Yeah, it does. Um, which is the body lotion. And as lotions go, this isn't kind of the most hydrating one that I have. I have, no, is it behind me? There we go. I have the Plum and Ashby body lotion that I really, really like um, for kind of hydration. But I think this, just for kind of sealing in that lovely lavender and tonka smell, um, I think this is 
really handy and I like that it's a little tub as well. I don't think they sell them in this size but um, yeah, it's just lovely. I'm looking forward to using it up. Then last of all is this Buffy body bar. Um, I don't know if they do any other ones of this. I know that they used to, um, from this range rather. But this is a really nice scrubby and moisturising body bar that I used on my legs when I shaved them yesterday. Um, yeah, this is lovely. It smells quite nice. Not too much. I think this has got sort of cocoa butter and things in it. Um, I will have a look and let you know in the description. Um, but yeah, this is really effective and although it's quite expensive, this was about £6.95. Um, it's obviously great for if you are looking to, again, zero waste products um, because you can just pop this in your little square tin and off you go. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. I'm enjoying having something a bit more indulgent in my showers and the bath. Um, and yeah, thumbs up from me. And that is my entire Lush stash at the moment. I would love to know of any of your Lush recommendations, particularly if they're vegan, in the comment section below. Um, but I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for watching. And I will be back in another video very, very soon.